Since the past is prologue, let's look back at the history of the Commission to help shape its future direction. In 1934, the National Archives was founded to preserve the important records of the federal government. Founded in the same act, the Commission was charged with making public those important historical collections held by the National Archives and in other repositories, getting the record out of the archives and providing access for the many. From its beginnings, the Commission was designed to make access happen. Carrying out that mission has taken different forms over the decades. In the 1950s, it was all about setting priorities and a national agenda. In the 1960s, the Commission funded both documentary editions and microfilming of historical collections. Congress expanded the Commission's purview in 1974 to include preservation and access to records held by state and local governments and projects at other archives and repositories. This led to a partnership through the creation of state historical records advisory boards. The Commission supports the work of the boards for statewide programming, workshops, regrants to smaller local organizations, and other programs. The Commission has also supported electronic records management, research and development from encoded archival description to the More Product, Less Process initiative, professional development, including the Institute for Historical Editing and the Archives Leadership Institute. In the new century, the Commission began funding digitization projects and assisting historical documentary editing projects to publish online versions of print editions. In 2008, Congress called for greater access to founding era projects, which led to the creation of Founders Online, a site which combines the papers of six founders into one single database of historical records. Federal initiatives have encouraged agencies to expand public participation in the work of government. The National Archives established a citizen archivist program in a variety of crowdsourcing projects and the Commission has encouraged other archives and repositories and projects to process, transcribe, tag, and other efforts. In May 2015, the Commission members met and discussed its enduring strengths, ongoing mission, current programming, and broad needs for the preservation and use of historical records. Out of this initial discussion, the staff has put together a preliminary overview of some future goals and directions for the Commission. Some of these ideas would require additional resources, including funding partnerships. Based on these conversations, we've identified four preliminary goals for a new strategic plan. Expand access to the nation's historical records. Engage the American people in preserving the American record provide leadership through the National Archives, adapt Commission practices to extend its reach and leverage. Remember, this is still a draft. We're waiting for your input to get to the next stage. Goal 1. Expand access to the nation's historical records. What does this mean for current grantees? For ongoing print versions of documentary editions, we want to help ensure that your projects are completed and, where possible, available as well in online versions. Two of the big challenges in online publishing are long-term sustainability and preservation of the records. There's no one-size-fits-all solution, but a variety of approaches, including collaborative efforts to create standards. Just as in the 1950s the Commission looked at what national figures should be published in print editions, we may consider new approaches for online versions, ideally in open access formats, so that records may be used for new and creative purposes. Similarly, online collections of historical records, whether at single institutions or brought together from multiple repositories, might adapt some of the techniques and scholarly apparatus of documentary editions in order to deepen their access and intelligibility to broader audiences. Goal 2. Engage the American people in preserving the American record. What does this mean for current grantees and long-term partners? As we all look to the future, one of the key challenges is to demonstrate the value of archives at all levels. 
Our partners in the states are already developing workshops and crowdsourcing events and sites with genealogists, researchers, and volunteers to improve access and get people more deeply involved in archival work. Partners from other federal agencies, the private sector, and the libraries, archives, and museums field are deeply involved in creating the archives of the future. What Walter Isaacson called inspiring places to visit and to meet people with like-minded passions. They can blend the virtual world and physical space to become 21st century museums for the mind. Goal 3 provide leadership through the National Archives. Clearly the Commission is a bridge between the National Archives and the nation's archives, and the exchange of best practices and ideas takes place on a two-way street. We look to strengthen the relationship between the federal government and the states, provide leadership opportunities, and fund the best R&D projects in the field. One of the key ways to leverage our limited resources is through partnerships with other federal agencies, NEH, ILMS, Library of Congress, and others, and with other funders on common initiatives. Goal 4. Adapt Commission Practices to Extend Our Reach and Leverage We are looking at several changes in our processes and procedures, all designed to fund the very best projects that advance our goals and to demonstrate the value of the grants program and increase public awareness of the work in the field. Among the ideas under consideration are new application and review processes and making sure that we are as inclusive and far-reaching as possible with our limited grants. We also intend to strengthen the connection between the work of the Commission and the work of the National Archives. We are interested in your ideas, comments, and suggestions on the strategic plan and your perspective on the needs for connecting the American people with historical records. Throughout the summer, between now and September 15th, we will be soliciting your input. Please feel free to write or join in the public discussion on our annotation blog, blogs.archives.gov slash NHPRC, or in a series of webinars we'll be hosting. Check the blog or our Facebook page, facebook.com slash NHPRC, for the dates. We're listening, and we hope to create a new draft of the strategic plan this fall. Join the discussion.